What is up guys, Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2, and welcome to My Death Setup Tour 2014. Let's take a closer look at all the goodness. Alright guys, starting off here, we got a nice little comfy black leather chair here. And I've got uh, my Blue Yeti mic. I'll use this sometimes for commentary. Well, I'll use it mostly for commentary when I'm doing like my gameplay during live stream, but also do it uh, for voiceovers. Moving over there, kind of I'll swing this out of the way here a little bit. I got my iPad mini uh, with retina display. And let me slide this chair over here and I'll show you guys some of the stickers that I have here on my desk. I've got a kicker sticker, uh, NorCal clothing, uh, University of Illinois at Springfield, because that's where I graduated from. A little Mopar sticker. And then uh, RetroSource.com, they're actually a great place to get uh, HID kits for your vehicle. And then I've got a uh, 2013 uh, Mac Mini. This actually uh, has, uh, I've upgraded to 16 gig RAM and a solid state hard drive. I got uh, a Joby Gorilla Griptide. I use this a lot of times for my iPhone 5S. I'll put the iPhone in there. It's a great little mount to have. I've got my Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. This is a must-have, excellent device. I've been using it a lot, and I love it. I've got an extra lightning cable, USB to lightning cable for all that. A Western Digital My Passport, which is a 2 terabyte USB 3.0. And then this is a 2014 uh, MacBook Pro Retina display. This has got 512 gig SSD uh, GT750 uh, with 2 gig video and does have 16 gig RAM. It's the maxed out model for 2014 except for the ones they just released this week. And then that's uh, connected via Thunderbolt, 27 inch Thunderbolt display. They only make the one Thunderbolt display. Let me back up here just a little bit. Hey look, that's us. Ryan Vlogs too. And then in these drawers down here, next to my paper shredder, I've got just like some cables, some headphones, some more pins, more supplies like jump drives and pens and things, like some other Apple accessories, like uh, PayPal here, card reader, all kinds of different things. And bottom drawer is just extra cables, like HDMIs, uh, Ethernet cables, switches, uh, cases. I've got some Amazon HDMI cables still in the bag, and like SSD hard drives, things like that. Just other stuff I'll use at random. And then I hang my Monster DNA headphones back here, just kind of hangs out on the glass behind there in that little stand you can see this is sitting on when I'm actually rendering video I'll plug this USB cable into the side of my Mac and you can hear that's a fan underneath here so it's like a fan stand basically guys so I just use that and then moving on up here above my desk I've got four college degrees that's my one of my ones for Cisco and then here is my associates in applied science for uh, networking with honors. And then here's my bachelor degree in computer science from University of Illinois. And then my master degree in computer science from Illinois, University of Illinois. And then this, my grandfather who passed last year, uh, he graduated University of Illinois in 77. So I actually have his master's of business administration degree there. Uh, hanging above my desk, I'll show you. I've got like, uh, these are license plates or metal signs, an Illinois one, uh, Mopar Avenue. I'm a huge Cardinals fan and another Illinois placard there. I'll like swing that out over here by the couch for when I'm gaming. So moving on to the tour down here, I've got the uh, Apple time capsule here, two terabyte, but I'm actually getting ready to upgrade that to the new one with the wireless AC. That's my charger there for my Xbox one controllers. And then some of my remotes there for my like uh, 3D Blu-ray player and my Samsung TV. And then I got an Apple remote here. This is a extra charger there for my MacBook Pro. Well, that is the original charger. Uh, my PS4 controller, Xbox One controller, LEDs for my uh, gaming setup, and then my DirecTV receiver remote, or my receiver remote, pardon me, and then Xbox One media remote. And then this black case that's right here actually sits in front of my subwoofer and my rear speaker. I'll actually swing that over in front of the uh, couch about right here. And then I'll put my Mac on there for when I'm streaming or capturing games. And then underneath is really cool of this case. Let me see if I can get this off of here. And then my, let me move this little cable here. And then down here is where I keep some of my other special Xbox One stuff like my Titanfall controller. 
Um, I do have the day one edition Xbox, so I never use these controllers. I just love them and keep them down there. And then just some of my other cables, like I've got uh, the Xbox One stereo headset, which is very sweet, actually. I should use this more often, but I don't. Uh, Titanfall strategy guide, another spare headset down there, and then this little case just kind of sits in there. And then I can put the lid back on top, and everything is good to go. Oops, always knocking something over there. That was off a candle that I had right here. Oh, goodness, we'll just leave that over there for now. These are just my speakers uh, for my rear surround sound. I've got back and then rears over here. And then I might as well show you, that was pretty much the desk and the setup there. And then when I'm gaming, like you guys have seen before, I showed my gaming setup. I keep an Ethernet cable there. That's the USB for the Elgato, which is plugged in the Xbox One. And then the PS4, Apple Airport Extreme, sitting back there. Some 3D glasses. Uh, this is a Samsung, back up way back here. Samsung 60-inch LED 3D TV, 240 hertz refresh rate. And then I've got my receiver, and that's a monster power center. That's what actually provides clean power to all my components. I got two of those. They're eight outlets. Some of my PS4 and Xbox One games, some of my special DVD and Blu-ray sets, and then some 3Ds, and then the 3D Blu-ray player, and then DirecTV box. And then Apple TV is right there. And there's like just way too many components going on here, I know. Oh, and then some of my older games and movies, uh, Blu-rays down there. But yeah, that's kind of, I, I know it was a desk setup, but then I also gave you kind of my gaming setup too. So dual purpose, desk setup tour 2014 plus gaming setup, why not? Short little video. And then I got a... Uh, 12 inch powered subwoofer right there. So that's why I said I pull that black cabinet out of the way, put it in front of the couch right there, put my Mac on top, clear the remotes, and then I begin gaming or capturing. Where I work, how I get everything done, and how I bring you guys the videos, and where I do them at. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, My Desk Setup Tour Project 2014. Not really a project, just wanted to give you guys a desk setup tour, kind of how I do things here at Ryan Vlogs 2, or Fast Electronic and Loud Gaming for Grandpa, because you guys do know I run three YouTube channels, so I do stay very busy, but I am the host of your show, Ryan Rigg, Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two, not like you're going to watch this vlog, not like I hope you please give me a thumbs up for the setup, but TOO, like in addition, like also. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a thumbs up today's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. So,